Why, hello, and welcome to another exciting game of Fistful of Lead, brought to you by the Basement Generals and Wily Games. Tonight it's Galactic Heroes, starring that hero of the spaceways, Dash Dixon and his Rocket Rangers. He'll be taking on the nefarious forces of Emperor Zorg Khan. It should be quite the tussle, I imagine. For this scenario, Dash Dixon is trying to get the stolen plans of Zorg Khan's murder moon to his waiting ship. The plans are stored on this little bot. However, there's a snag. It's only half the plans. The other half are on another bot somewhere on the table. Opposing him are the various factions of Zorg Khan. Technically on the same side, they're all out for their own bit of glory. Here we have the dreaded Azulian shock troopers led by Captain Corlo. Next are the Imperial Troopers, led by Commander Zoltor. And finally, it's Commander Kronos, leading the Soulless Robot Legion. All the action's taking place on a 6x4 table, representing a backwater spaceport on a desert planet. In keeping with social distancing, I've asked some of the basement generals to remote in for this game. In Fistful of Lead, the action and the turn sequence are dictated by playing cards. Each player is dealt a card for each miniature they control every turn. In this case, I've asked the players to deal themselves cards. I'll be moving their troops based on their instructions and rolling the dice. Bad dice can be all blamed on me. Dash and his crew are starting out on one corner of the table, completely on the opposite side of their spaceship, parked in the spaceport. Meanwhile, Imperial forces are spaced around the rest of the table, hoping to grab a robot of their own. Here I'm indicating where the rest of the robots are spaced around the table, using a helpful pointer to point out to our players where exactly they're at. I had two cameras set up so that players could switch between the two different views in order to help them get a better view of the battlefield. Dash has some tough decisions to make. He has a lot of table to cross. He has to get his little bot to the waiting spaceship safely and hopefully grab a few more along the way. Imperial troops have already grabbed a robot of their own, and it looks like the robot legion aren't far behind them. By the end of turn one, everyone has managed to snag a bot of their own. The Imperial troopers even managed to commandeer a hover transport and plan to drive it around and cause as much havoc as possible. Dash had decided to stick to the north side of the table edge. His only real resistance comes in the form of the Azulians. The mighty Grunk takes the lead. Though hit, he manages on turn three to activate on a Queen of Hearts. In Fistful of Lead, certain special cards give the miniature activated with them a special ability. In this case, to heal a wound. Grunk uses his activation to charge the Azulian commander. In the brutal close combat that follows, Captain Corlo was put out of action. By turn four, the Imperial forces have turned on each other. Each player is looking to claim both halves of the plans to the murder moon and present them to Zork Khan. During the game, we introduced some random events. We had a sandstorm which swept across the table, cutting visibility in half. Then later, one of the players was given control of the security forces by a random deal of the cards. With time running out, Dash and the Rocket Rangers made their move. They charge through the junkyard, wiping out most of the Azulians, but not without cost. Lance Laser was wounded, and Krunk put out of action. The Imperial Troopers' plan to use the hover truck went poorly. They quickly became a target for every blaster on the table. The robot legion quickly surrounded the burning wreck and gunned down the Imperial Troopers inside. With the Imperials and the Azulian shock troopers decimated, the path to Dash's ship was clear. The Robot Legion was largely untouched, but in no position to stop Dash. At the end of the game, we rolled randomly to see which of the remaining bots had the second half of the plans. Dash had managed to take two bots from the Azulian shock troopers and had a really good chance of getting it. As it turned out, he had the second half of the plans. The galaxy can sleep safely tonight, knowing that once again Dash Dixon and the Rocket Rangers have once again foiled Emperor Zorg Khan's plan. I hope you enjoyed tonight's game. I sure did. We all knew Dash would make it through, didn't we? 
Well, it's a shame about poor Grunk, but I'm sure it's only a flesh wound, and he'll be back next week. Be sure to like us, and subscribe to Wiley Games, and till next time, keep the lead flying.